Hello everyone, welcome back to Farming Valley episode number four. Since we last left off, some time has indeed passed and it's still raining. <laughs> Does it ever stop raining? But like I said, the good thing is it automatically gets our farm all nice and watered. Uh, we got all of our crops here. We got our potatoes, we got our cucumbers, and we got some wheat here that we're going to be harvesting probably sometime a little bit later this episode. So what I've done, I've done a little bit of mining since we last left off and uh, got some stairs going over there currently. I made some more water and I cleared out a nice new area really flat right here. This is where we're going to be. Uh oh, hello. Well, that just happened. Hopefully everything's fine. <laughs> Things just kind of stopped for me. Uh, this is a nice cleared out area. It should be big enough for us to start setting up a brand new home. It's a little ways from the, well, where we're setting up the village currently. But let's go ahead and talk to Yulif in a minute and see exactly what is the next thing we need. I'm probably going to need to go ahead and start getting some cobblestone cooked into some stone. And double check and make sure we're good on some uh, some trees. So Yulif, I've got the best blueprints around. So let's see, we got the poultry farm, it's 4k, so we need to get 4,000 gold next. Alright, so I gotta keep remembering that, I think that's probably what we're gonna go for next, is the poultry farm. Uh, let's see, besides that, yeah, I think we're good. So let's go ahead and start uh, setting up. Now this farm is probably gonna sit here for just a little bit as our hoe is, it's taking damage, pretty much. <laughs> We don't have too much left on there until we actually got to get that thing repaired. And I don't think there's actually a way to repair that um, until, you know, you get the blacksmith up and running. Um, but you can use a normal hoe, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken. But let's go ahead and get started. So, uh, unfortunately, I did look around for some different types of wood. And uh, the only thing I can really find is the birch oak and dark oak. And I love dark oak to death. And honestly, we might go get some dark oak. But we may end up using some oak as well. Um... But we do have a lot of spruce planks, which is nice. So we can definitely use these as well. But let's go ahead and cook up a little bit of stone. Let's get that going. And I don't have a whole bunch of coal, which is a little unfortunate. But we'll get through it. We'll manage. Now, I'm probably, I don't know if I'm actually going to use the stone myself. I might, but we just need something kind of basic to get us started and going. And we're going to go set up us a nice little home over there somewhere. Uh, first things first, though. Let's grab us a little bit of this dark oak. I don't know. I Actually, I may not even use the dark oak because it's going to take me probably a little bit. I was looking around. I was spending all my time trying to find some spru... Okay, I was going to say, is that, is that... Wow, these are like two different colors almost. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. It's actually kind of neat, but... Oh, Lord. That's what I'm talking about. There's this weird little... Oh, that's an autumn sapling. Okay. Oh, that's... Oh, from Biomes of Plenty. And I haven't used Biomes of Plenty in a long, long while. So this is... This is kind of fun to be able to go back and be able to use it again. But, like I said, I think there's some stuff in there. I think Biomes of Plenty is still kind of like... Oh, I'm not sure if it's like unstable or anything. I could be wrong, but... There's a whole bunch of just weirdness sometimes in 110 and... Hopefully we don't have any issues with it, but let's see. Maybe one more dark oak tree. Yeah, let's take this guy out. Ooh, the Sakura wood. I might have to get, to get one of those. Yeah, with them being so close to everything else, yeah, that'd be fine. No worries. So I wouldn't mind trying to replicate the style that they, they kind of go with on their builds. Um, I'll try to implement some, like, trap doors and the buttons in. As far as everything else in the roof, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that as much, especially with the, the build idea that I have in mind, which is just something kind of small right now. It's nothing too too big, and I think we're going to start it right over here on this bank corner. So let's go ahead and jump. Let's get started. Let's see. So let's just do something nice and basic. One of my favorite little builds I love to do, and... We're going to go, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And my plan is, is I kind of want to play this like I did. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do, let's do that instead. Is um, basically I want to kind of replicate like you do in like Harvest Moon and Stardew Valley and all of that. I kind of want to replicate the fact that uh, your house, you can upgrade it over time. Now, 
<laughs> I'm going to have to do the upgrading, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see. Maybe something like this. No, let's go back a little bit. We're trying to make this a little cozy. Something kind of small for now. Nothing too too large. So we're pretty much like, what, right in here? Let's go from this block here. We'll go out one, two, three, four, five. Like that. And we'll have a nice little space in between here. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll bring this back here. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. Ah, oh, gosh darn it, Fred. I don't want any today. I'm good. Thank you for asking, though. Oh, goodness. I'm actually glad it's turned down. But uh, let me um, turn the weather down just a little bit more. There we go. So it's not too bad. I apologize. I usually have that turned down because I don't usually wear headphones when I'm uh, playing. Hey, look at that. Perfect. We still got a little bit left. And uh, honestly, I probably would be using some of that, but it's okay. Uh, let's see. So I was thinking about starting off with some... Some stone, maybe, and some brick. But let's go ahead and... Actually, hold on. Before we do that, let's go check and see if we actually have any oak planks. And we're also going to want to probably tear down this little this little building we got going on here. And then we're going to start setting up some paths and all that good stuff. Actually, you know what? Let's go and do this. Let's go and sleep. Why not? Let's go and sleep through the night. I, I just kind of want to get rid of the rain. Hopefully, we can get rid of the rain. Please tell me we got rid of the rain. Looks like we got rid of the rain. Sweet. Oh, do we hold on to these? Nope, not yet. But the potatoes are indeed ready to harvest. Look at that. Sweetness. Probably not going to get a whole bunch out of these potatoes, but that's all right. We do need to probably go back over and get a little bit something else that we can go ahead and pop in there. Poisonous potatoes do sell. Very nice. It's good to know. And we're just going to go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, water the rest of this farm up real quick. Wait for the general store to open and head on over and buy a little bit more seeds so that way we can plant some more in our far field there. <laughs> I'm actually very excited. I've read some comments and a lot of people are like, oh, I'm excited to see Farmer Bentley. Yes, indeed. Farmer Bentley. Hello, everyone. Hello. I don't know if I really have a good farming voice. <laughs> uh, unless you guys are okay with the normal voice of mine and just like, hey, guess what? It's Farmer Bentley. He just sounds like a farmer by default. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Anyways. Yeah, we do have some nice. Cool. All right. So we're probably going to also want to grab a crafting table. And I'm probably going to grab some of those. Utilize a little bit of that in our build as well. I don't know. Really thinking about using a little bit of stone. I'll just cook up some more a little bit later. Yeah, let's do that. Sure. Let's let's make a decent, nice little bit of a house. Um. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna have to craft a crafting table. I actually thought I had another crafting table somewhere, but I guess I don't. There we go. All right, now we got rid of the rain. Thank the Lord. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, that was getting a little annoying. <laughs> I mean, I love the rain. I do. I, I love rain in general. And it's awesome and everything. It's just the rain that's in, I, I don't know, Minecraft sometimes. It just does not look as great. You know what I mean? There's just something about it. It just doesn't. It looks a little off. So, anyways, I'm probably gonna just going to do a little bit on the bottom with the stone brick. Maybe do a double door? Look, that's very fitting for a double door. So let's do a double door there. That'll work. And what do we got here? So this is four? Maybe I should move that over one then. Yeah, I think we're going to move that over one. I'm just thinking about like chests and how those are going to sort a little bit later and sit there. So I kind of... How the heck did you fly all the way over there? You weird little block you. Alright, that'll work probably a bit better there. And yes, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. I don't really want any gaps. I think the gaps are going to make it look a little weird and strange. So I'm just going to try to not do that. 
All right, let's go ahead and place down that crafting table. And oh, wait a minute. That's what I forgot I was supposed to do. <laughs> That's why I was like, wait a minute. This seems off a little bit. Because I meant to do this. Because I want my crafting table. We're going to put our crafting table over here in the center real quick. Right there. And eventually, I'll probably change all of this up. Because the expansion on the house, it's going to probably change a lot of how it is. And I'm going to have to clear out more of this and flatten it like I did all our, all this I did already. And then it'll become more fields for us to, to harvest and all of that good stuff. So let's get us a door. We'll get a door started. Actually, let's go ahead and clear out the floor. Let's get us a floor first. Yeah. And I'm thinking as far as the floor is concerned, we may go with something... Hmm... I wonder if we could do birch. I kind of like birch colored floors. Something a little bit different, a little bit lighter colored. Yeah, I think we got a little bit of birch we could probably use. I don't know if we're going to have enough. We can calculate by the amount of dirt that we're actually removing here. And hopefully my shovel doesn't break on me. I am hoping we do get to harvest maybe another little bit. I, I think we have a few days that we passed. So we need, what, over a stack? A little over a stack of birch. I don't think we have enough. But we're going to check real quick. Cross our fingers. We have plenty of birch we can harvest. I just was kind of hoping. All right. Yeah, that is definitely not enough birch. All right, then. So all we really need to do is grab us about 16 pieces of birch. And we should be good to go. Let's go do that real quick. Um, where's some good birch? I don't really want to take those trees out. I don't like those birch trees. I think you guys might agree with me on that. Some of these birch trees just look really nice. I love the way they look. Now this is just kind of a normal one, so we're just going to get this guy out of the way. Alright, let's put this right here so we can actually monitor where we're at on this. Alright, so we only need a couple more. We should have more than enough. There we go. Oh, good lord. All right, so let's do this, and boom. All right, so we should have enough now to get our floor in. As far as the roof is concerned, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish the roof today. I'm a little slow when it comes to the roofs. Like, I like to take my time on them because I want to make them look good. And I try to make them look as best as I possibly can. But I always love these, like, L designs on the houses. I think they look really nice. So let's go ahead and do our floor. Probably going to have to change that block, too, so it's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. It's on the inside, so it needs to needs to be changed. Otherwise, it's just going to look weird. We're going to just have little spigots of grass in our house. Not ideal. Oops. I'm getting a little block happy. <laughs> so you guys can replicate the idea of this if you guys wish, um, obviously. It's one of the things I love to do about... You know, building is, um, I do love, love to see if you guys enjoy the build as well. I actually like these spruce doors. Place it on the inside like that. Yeah, that seems very fitting. I like it. All right, so most of their builds are made out of spruce on the walls and the roof. I don't know if I have enough spruce for all of that. So I'm going to probably have to do some oak on the walls. Now, ideally, I like to use logs kind of across the top part of this, but I'm not going to have enough dark oak to really do that. And I'm not really looking at trying to be too crazy good looking because this is supposed to be kind of like, you know, just a little base house more than anything. Um, kind of like a starter home, if you will. And usually the ones you start off with like at Harvest Moon and Stardew Valley, oh, they, they're just kind of a mess sometimes. So this doesn't look too bad. That does not look too bad. They do incorporate, though, I will say this, they do incorporate stairs into their build, into their walls and such. Let's get some, some stairs, and let's find us a nice place where we can maybe put some of those. I think around this top lip right here. And th what this does is it gives us a little bit of depth into our build. And then we're also going to need windows. Figure out where we're going to get some 
some windows placed in, some optimal spots. I'll probably add those in last because we're going to be figuring out where we're going to be placing certain things inside of our house. Like our chests for storage, which we kind of already dictated that part out. Which is going to be that wall over there by our crafting table. And we're going to probably need to make some other things like some more some storage drawers which I don't think I have any made yet but we're gonna have to make some storage drawers so in this you really need a lot of wood and it would probably be very beneficial if we could manage to get like uh go into Batania and get that uh that axe that would be very very helpful I don't think there's anything else we really have that would help us there but I'd have to look but the axe is definitely helpful early on, being diamond and all. See, and I like that. That looks pretty good there on, on the door. But I'm going to have to change up by the door a little bit more. Because the, the two blocks next to it just kind of seem a little off. These two right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add these into stairs. Nice. See, now that looks wrong. <laughs> That's okay. We can actually kind of fix it up a little bit more. No big deal. Yeah, I'm kind of liking this. Nice little starter home. Let's come over here and take a look at some of this other little stuff that they got going on here. Hmm. So they like using trap doors and buttons. Now, buttons we can do easily. Boop. Don't know really where they put them. I guess put one there, put one there. Kind of like on these sides here. Don't want to get too fancy with it because like I said, we're going to be upgrading this probably... I don't know. I, I need... Oh, maybe you guys could help me out with that. Give me like a good round number of like how often we should upgrade our house like episode-wise. That would not be a bad idea, huh? Alright, let's go ahead and take a look. So we got the yellow autumn saplings. I wouldn't mind planting some of those around the house. Um... Yeah, it might not be bad. Let's see. Thinking, yeah. Let's let's make some. Let's make a couple ladders, just a few, so we can actually just get up here onto our wall, and we'll start setting up. Maybe. All right, we are gonna need a chest over here. That's just all there is to it. We're gonna need a chest. All right, so let's do that. Let's grab a double chest. Put one right here. And let's go ahead and start putting some of this away. So I think we're going to try. We're going to attempt to use some spruce. And I just hope that we have enough. The fact that it makes eight per craft is really helpful as well. So we're going to save a little bit. We'll see how far we can actually get with what we currently have. Water. All right. So I'm thinking... Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to try to do this kind of quick-like. Probably need to pull this out one more. Oh, gosh. Those are so difficult to place sometimes. We are going to need to go sleep. We'll probably bring our bed over. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's go get our bed. Sleep first, and then we'll bring it over. And hopefully, maybe we can even harvest some of our crops. We should be using our horse as well. Saves on hunger, I think. Do -do -do -do, do -do -do. There we go. Let's check our crops. What do we got? You guys done yet? Oh, no. I totally forgot to go to the general store and plant some more seeds. <laughs> Whoops. I was getting so excited on the house. I totally forgot. All right. Let's pick up the bed. Take the bed with us for now. Let's put the water away so we can get a couple more. Got those all set up and ready for us. We got a little extra dark oak over here. Let's just go ahead and get our wood in our chest and get those moved over, as well as maybe these furnaces here. I'll try to maybe even move those chests. Did you just see like a ghost image? Okay, that was a little creepy. You know, from here, it doesn't look too bad. I'm not a big fan of the oak on the walls. Just, I'm just not, <laughs> not feeling it too much. But I do think we probably want to add some, some stairs on the bottom portions 
uh, where all of these blocks are as well. So we'll probably do that as uh, also here in a second. Let's grab a little bit more oak and we'll get those going in just a second. Let's work on this roof. See if we can get this roof going. So let's do this and this, this and this. We're just gonna do a normal, normal style roof. Now I know a lot of people they they ask me like, how do you build so well and all that good, good snaz and all that. And I just tell them it's just practice. It's just practice. Look around, get ideas from other people's builds, and just practice. Like, that's just kind of all there is to it over the years. You know, this is not even like an, an extravagant style build for me. This is, I'm actually purposefully trying to not do this like super amazing because, well, this is, like I said, it's supposed to be like a starter home. It's not supposed to look too amazing. It's just supposed to be kind of just there, you know? And looks like this one is going to be the same as the other one. Perfect. Now, there's a little style that Teddy showed me on how to do some of these roof styles. And I'm hoping to try to incorporate that a little bit into this, which is kind of like those little peaks that they like to do on uh, certain builds that you might see around. I was actually never really good at doing those myself, honestly. Um, I wish I was better, but I'm gonna attempt to try. And if you guys see the way I'm gonna try to do it, and if, if you guys see I'm doing it wrong or could be doing it better, by all means, let me know. I don't mind, because I like to learn and I like to figure out new builds and sometimes incorporating it in, more into mine well, you know, it just makes it maybe look a little bit better. So you can see why I'm kind of doing this. This is just kind of a basic thing and trying to get it done and over with because I don't know if we're going to have enough spruce. I really hope we do. That is completely wrong. Whew. We might have it. We should have enough spruce, actually, because we do have more planks. Honestly, I do want to kind of do what they do, but I'm going to need maybe some dark oak for that, and we'll maybe do the corners a little bit later on. But just to start off, we're going to make it look a little run down, not too perfect. Well, I mean, it is kind of actually a little bit perfect at the moment. It already looks perfect because it's so clean-ish. All right, so we got all that done. That part's finito. Let's see. Let's clear this out because that is going to be our way up and down for the moment. And let's see, let's grab a little, could do the dark oak real quick, but I'm going to hold off on that. We're going to hold off on that. Let's grab some, some oak. I hate, I hate converting that over, but I need it. So we're going to put these here. Oh, dang it. Yeah, and I, I like to usually do double-sided stairs so you can kind of see on the top part, but I don't think I'm going to have enough spruce for all of that, but yeah. I don't want to waste all of it, honestly, right now on, on that. But let's go ahead and grab some of these guys. We're going to need some spruce slabs, so let's get like 36 of those. That should be enough to cover us for the moment. And let's see. How am I going to do this part? So I think we want to do... This is the hard part. <laughs> this is the hard part. Kind of wish I had another block. Oh, or that, I guess. Nope, that's not it. Well, that's the other thing, actually. The, the peak on this might not look good because it's not really a tall, tall roof. Um... So we might just do something kind of small like like that for now. Yeah, that probably would be the probably be the better idea here. And let's just go ahead and line this with oak to save on our spruce, because then we're just gonna cover the, the peak of this with some of these slabs. Yeah, I think that'll be probably a better idea. So we'll do that and then that. And then we'll line this up here. And there we go. Finished the roof, except for this part. Now it's done. Now let's go ahead and change out these bottom ones. And we'll get some light in here as well as some windows in a little bit. 
And I think this will look a lot better doing it this way with the, the stairs on the bottom, especially if we use panes. Yeah, yeah, see, I think that looks a lot nicer already. Let's go ahead and put some torches up in here. Uh, let's see, let's put a torch here. Put a torch over here, there. Put one there, there, and there. That should be enough light in here for now, yeah? I think so. All right, let's finish up these walls. And we need to go to the general store. General store, general store, general store. Holy crap, I almost forgot that. <laughs> oh man, let's take a look at the house from here. Yeah, see, it doesn't look horrible. It does need a little bit of work on the outside with some details and stuff. But I think it'll look really nice. My favorite animals are pigs. And my favorite fruit are cherries. You're closed today, aren't you? What, what is today, Wednesday? Yeah, they're closed today. How wonderful. Jeez, oh, Pete's. We did water the farm today, didn't we? No, of course not. Of course we didn't water the farm today. Jeez. Where's my mind? What kind of farmer am I? I'm not no real farmer. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time probably between episodes. I'm gonna get some more cobblestone. I'm gonna do some more mining. I'm gonna try to find some diamonds and upgrade my tools to diamond. If not possible, first thing I'll make is probably a diamond uh, pickaxe. I'm gonna try to start making some uh, different types of food. And I think, do we have actually... Oh, we don't have cooking for blockheads, okay. Well, good to know. All right, well anyways, they're closed today. Let's go ahead and, oh, I was gonna say, let's go ahead and sleep, but my bed's not there. Let's put my bed here for the moment. We'll move it back over to the house. Just a second. Well, at least it's not raining today. Are these ready? Oh, <gasps> the cucumbers are ready. Oh, nice. Oh, and we got 3,000 gold already. Nice. Oh, we're about to get, we're about to get a lot more, actually. Oh, the next episode's gonna be good. I think we're gonna be building another place. See, and I really like this, too, because these guys... They stay, and I believe the same thing is for the wheat, which is really nice. So we got 54 cucumbers out of the... Yeah, jeez, oh my gosh. Wait, hold on, what does that say? Oh, you hold shift over it. Okay, that's cool. That's good to know. I should be harvesting that sugar cane and setting up like an automated sugar cane farm, which we'll probably end up doing eventually. Uh, Resource-wise right now, like iron and other stuff, I don't really have it at the moment. But we should be able to go to the general store today, pick up some more stuff, plant in our far field. We're going to try using a vanilla hoe. We're going to have to retill that because our other one is practically dead until, you know, we basically get a chance to go to get a blacksmith up and running. So anyways, what time do they open? I think 9. All right, well, let's come over here. We're about to running out of these 10 more times until diminishing returns. Whew, not good, not good. Yeah, this place definitely needs some windows. You can tell just by looking at it. It needs some love and some windows. Now, the other thing I wouldn't mind doing is like setting up like this. Hmm. Honestly, that'd probably look better if it was dark oak and we did a dark oak trim. That would probably look better there. Why do you gotta fall on the roof? You know I can't get up there. <laughs> Gosh dang it. That is annoying at times. Alright, let's finish off these stairs. Because I think that does look good. I feel like it does add some nice depth just to our basic home build. Now in the future, as we expand, make our house maybe bigger and stuff, I think I may do that off camera. Or maybe even we'll do a, a little stream of it. And um, for those of you guys that want to see that, I can uh, like maybe mute up the music and just... Hello? Mute up the music so that maybe I can transfer it over to YouTube. Um, and then uh, I probably won't spend the whole whole night on it, depending on how long it goes. It might, but it's going to be awful quiet without music. <laughs> uh, it's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. All right, so let's go ahead and put our bed in here. Now, my that's going to be my crafting area, so my bed's probably going to want to go maybe like here. And then we can do like... Hmm. Where do I want to put the furnaces at? Maybe something like that for now. 
That doesn't look too bad. Let's also do... Yeah, let's do some spruce trap doors. Use those as kind of like shelves. Teddy showed me that. I like it too. Alright, let's go over to the general store. We'll get a little bit more to do, but I think that is a nice little finished home. Besides, minus the windows, of course, which we need to smelt up a little bit of glass, but... Um, where's Jenny? Jenny! Jenny, I need you! You are open today, right? It's Thursday. Why are you not down here? And I need to get... I want to do that trick, too, for my, my place, eventually. Oh, there you are. This store is the best in town. What do you need? All right, so we're going to... We're gonna buy, I think, you know what we might end up doing is just keep going. Oh, those are only in spring. Oh, maybe we should do some more wheat then. Yeah, we gotta keep an eye on our days there, so we might just do some more wheat for now. Yeah, why not? Let's do, actually, you know what? Let's do, let's just vary it up. I like having varied things. Um, Eight days. Yeah, that should last us. That'll be like the last harvest. Two, three. That'll work. We'll just do another thing of potatoes. Potatoes seem to work out pretty well before. And we'll just water these guys up and call it a day. So with that being said, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's harvest. Or, I'm sorry, farming valley. I told you guys I was going to get that messed up a lot. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Farming Valley. If you guys did, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out. Let me know you guys are enjoying the series and, and like all this awesomeness of this pack. Like I am, because I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Hope you guys are too. Um, so anyways, if you guys really enjoyed you want to see some more, you always hit that subscribe button and little bell notification. Be notified when I post a new video to my channel here. And there's some really awesome links down in the description. You can check out my Patreon, where I play on my Patreon server with my Patreons. Uh, currently is Vanilla113, uh, or 113, 2. And, uh, yeah. So, in, I stream every night on Twitch. Tonight, we're going to be streaming some FTB Revelation on Twitch. So, twitch.tv forward slash only Bentley. Hopefully, we'll see you guys there. If not, we'll see you in the next one. And if you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.